Hey, so real quick, I just want to tell you guys that are studying for your exam what you should be studying, what topics in the course. Now look, if you already took the course with us, you already have these percentages for the chapter, but let's just kind of do a quick rundown here of which chapters you want to tackle first. So what I've got laid out here on the screen is all the units 1 through 19 covered in the course on your FREC syllabus. So even if you took the course in another school, it should be the same information in the same order. No guarantees on that, but it should. Now for reviewing for your exam, there's a particular, uh, a particular percentage out of each chapter of what you're going to find on the exam. Uh, and the what I've got numbered out here is what I would recommend you start from. And number one, I've got brokerage operations. It's one of the longest chapters in the course and it's also one of the largest chapters in the course, which is why you want to start here and get this chapter down, especially the stuff on escrow money here. Number two on the list, we've got contracts. The contracts is the other 12% chapter. Again, with that, it's one of the largest chapters on the course, so you want to get that down as well. For three and four, we have the two chapters on mortgages, which are 9% and 4%. Now, a lot of times students will see, oh, that's only 4%, it's not as important. This is kind of a part two to the first chapter on mortgages. And even though the syllabus only says 4%, there is a lot that goes back and forth between mortgages and sources of financing. So. I would look at these together rather than just as two separate chapters as one 13% chapter. So that's why those make it to number three and four on the list. Number five, we've got ownership. I've seen a lot of students struggle with these two chapters in particular, ownership and deeds. That's why we've got this one listed as number five. Then to break things up a little bit, we'll jump over here to this appraisal chapter, which is also an 8% chapter. Put that on your list as number six. Over here for deeds. Number seven, that's 7% of the exam. Number eight, brokerage relationships, that's another 7% of your exam. Number nine, the licensing laws, that's 6% of your exam. And then finally, number 10, the legal descriptions. Now, there's 19 units up here on the board. I just highlighted 10 for you. And the reason why I did that is when you add together these percentages for those 10 chapters, which happen to be the chapters that have the largest percentage of the exam, only 10 of the 19 units make up 78 of the 100 questions on your exam. So using this information, you could really make the most use of your studying time and really not worry about remembering too much. Like this intro, 1% of the exam, I wouldn't spend time studying it. Even the zoning chapter, again, that's also 1% of the exam. Focus on these biggest chapters. You get these 10 down pat where you're gonna get every single question in those. I mean, that's already enough for a passing score. If you get all those, you just need a 75%. You get every single one of those, you're gonna end up with 78. But if you wanna keep going, then you could dive into these other chapters. But start with these largest chapters for your review. If you want some more study tools for your review and you wanna see our recommended strategy to pass your class and state exams on the first try, go to pass first try.com that's pass first try p a s s f i r s t t r y.com it's our recommended strategy to pass your class and state exams on the first try check that out it's got our step by step guide it's got recommended study tools that are approved by us to use so check that out if you're studying for your exams but absolutely make sure you keep in mind what chapters are most important